Well, let's take a live look now at the state capitol where lawmakers are gearing up for a big debate over gun control. So far, just a few gun bills have been introduced during this year's legislative session, but several more are expected. Denver 7's Brandon Richards shows why the debate at the capitol is likely just the beginning. As executive director of Rocky Mountain Gun Owners, Taylor Rhodes is a busy man. It's going to be a marathon this year. His group has spent millions in court fighting gun control laws passed under the Gold Dome, including a law raising the age to buy a gun to 21 and one requiring a three-day waiting period. We are wrapped up in almost $6 million worth of lawsuits. This year, they're keeping a close eye on a bill banning people from carrying guns openly or concealed in so-called sensitive spaces, including parks, community centers, hospitals, and churches, as well as the parking areas next to them. Now they're trying to say, well, you don't have the right to carry in your church or in a public park or on this street corner because it's adjacent to the Capitol. Uh, that's just ridiculous. State Representative Meg Froelich is one of the bill's co-sponsors. Basic concept is that people deserve to be safe in spaces in our community. She's also the prime sponsor of two other gun bills. One would authorize the CBI to investigate illegal activity involving guns, including illegal sales and possession. She says it will free up local law enforcement. This allows CBI to proactively investigate. And she's sponsoring a bill requiring payment networks to make a merchant code so the state can track gun sales. It's just another tool uh, in the toolkit for law enforcement to have those uh, the ability to see those transactions. Rhodes promises more lawsuits. We know the political realities of the building behind us and we're preparing to sue. But Froelich and her colleagues aren't worried. The fact of the matter is Rocky Mountain gun owners are not winning elections. They're out of step with the people of Colorado. Now, last year, a federal judge blocked the state from enforcing that age limit law. And in November, another federal judge allowed the state to begin enforcing the three day waiting period law. Both cases remain in federal court. Reporting at the Capitol, Brandon Richard, Denver 7.